I'm Roslyn Brain with Utah State University Extension Sustainability and this is my uh, residence and I'm here to discuss our gray water system. So uh, we built this house to uh, utilize gray water in our landscape and received approval from the local health department for doing that. Um, Roz, uh, Dr. Roz's brain system is the first system to go in. It's the current and, and currently the only system um, that we have more online or more coming online soon. But it's a good example. We've shown it to a number of environmental health scientists. There seems to be a fair amount of interest. And our gray water draws from the shower and laundry, uh, direct gravity fed to our landscape. And so uh, what that means is we have our piping set up, uh, our pipes set up in a 2% grade that uh, meet in our laundry room. And in the laundry room is a three-way valve that uh, we use that can divert the water either direct down to sewer in the winter time. And the reason you'd want to do that is uh, you want to avoid feeding water out when there's a risk of a hard freeze. And uh, then for the rest of the year, we direct that, uh, just turn the valve the opposite direction and that feeds our landscape. And so that uh, pipe comes out underneath our um, porch and splits in two and then feeds uh, a basin on the other side of the house on the west side that splits in two as well so there's another split and then it comes out and feeds this basin through um, this point right here and so underneath here the pipe comes and there's a drop down and the reason you want to do that uh, drop is so that roots and other matter can't grow up into the pipe uh, through the moisture and uh, and then that feeds uh, over six inches under this under the mulch layer uh, the root systems of the plants that we have here and so the direct plants that we're feeding with our gray water system are uh, this is a cherry tree a lapins cherry tree and then we've got a utah giant cherry and a nectarine and a peach tree and uh, lavender we've uh, got yarrow several plants planted with sweet grass I've, i do not have to water these basins at all they're direct watered from uh, every time we shower or um, do our laundry the obstacles to doing it at most residences, um, oftentimes it's lot size. The other issue that comes into play is the natural grades that you have to have. You have to maintain a 2% slope for the plumbing coming out of the home. Um, and to do this basin type system, we need the the gray water plumbing to come out near surface. Probably where we'll see this go is that um, we will do the permitting on these systems. We'll make sure the design is right and there will be, um, there is likely that there will be ongoing inspections over a period of time until the system's proved itself essentially. And it looks like we're going to be able to do some systems like this in the future and it's pretty exciting.